Okay, unit 7. What does it look like? Period 1. This class is going to be about appearance. So, we are going to learn how to describe a person just uh, about appearance. Okay, so if we want to describe someone about appearance, we have to know, first of all, the parts of the body. For example, here we can say that we have the parts of the body. I would like you to show you the parts of the body. Head, for example, eye, ear, face, nose, mouth, hand, hair, arm, back, leg, foot. Okay, and also, after learning the parts of the body, we are going to see the adjectives that we are that we can use to describe a person. For example, tall, short. If you can see the difference between them, tall is the opposite of short. Okay, tall and short are adjectives that describe height. Another example is heavy, thin. The opposite of heavy is thin, all right? Well, in this picture, we can see that there is someone, but this person doesn't have hair. So if the person doesn't have hair, we can call it bald, okay? Bald is someone who doesn't have hair. Well, and here we have short, medium height, and tall. Short, medium height, and tall describe height. Well, we are going to use these adjectives to describe height. For example, she is, in this case, we can see she is short, she is medium height, and she is tall. If I want to describe someone about her weight, we can say thin, like her, she's thin, she's heavy, and she's medium built, okay? Remember that these adjectives are going to describe weight, okay? Thin, medium built, and heavy. Now, the question that we are going to use in this case is what does he or she look like? What does she or she look like means that you have to describe a person just for appearance. Look like, how does she look, okay? For example, he or she is tall. All right, for example, he is tall. She is tall. Here in this example, we can say that he is tall. Tall is an adjective that describes height. He is short. So we can say he is tall. He is short. Well, before, I'm going to get back. And what about you? I would like you to describe your height. What do you look like? Are you short or tall? Now we are going to see how to describe hair. So we have some examples here to describe hair. So, for example, long hair, straight hair, and black hair. We can say long, the length, straight, the type or shape of the hair, and black, the color of the hair. Another example here, short hair, straight hair, and black hair. 
Now we have another example, but we can see that this person has short hair. Curly means the shape of the hair. Curly hair, blonde hair, blonde hair is the color of the hair. Long hair, like this one, long hair. Curly hair, curly, the shape, and blonde hair, the color of the hair, okay? So we can say that she has long hair, he has short hair. He has curly hair, she has blonde hair. And what about your hair? Do you have long or short hair? Do you have a straight or curly hair? Do you have black or blonde hair? Tell me and tell about your hair to your classmates. Now we have another, another uh, objective that can be useful at the moment to describe a person. For example, here we can see that this is called in English beard. If uh, if a man has beard, we can say he has a beard. Beard. Okay? And here, a mustache. A mustache is this. This is the mustache. He has a mustache. He has a beard. Okay? And does your father have a beard? Does your father have a mustache? What does she or what does she look like? He or she has long hair. We are going to use the verb to be has to say or to describe the hair. He has, she has long hair. For example, we can say we have we can see. Okay, look at these pictures. She has curly hair. She has straight hair. She has blonde hair. And he has short hair. Alright? So, and what about you guys? What about hair? Curly hair. She has curly hair. Curly, curly. This is curly, the shape of the hair. Okay. Long, curly, brown hair. As you can see here in this example, in this sentence, we are going to use the correct order of the adjectives. For example, long, first of all, long, shape, and color. Okay. So this is long, short, the shape curly or straight, the color can be brown, black, or blonde, and at the end, the noun hair. What does she look like? So, she has, remember, long, straight, blonde hair. She has long, the shape is straight, the color blonde, all right? She has long, straight, blonde hair. What does he look like? Can you guess what does he look like? Can you describe him? Well, we can say here, he has, has short, curly, brown hair. Short, curly, brown hair. Remember, it's important that you use the correct order of the adjectives, okay? Don't forget that when describing the hair, we are going to use the verb have. For he, she, we are going to use has, remember. Don't forget it. What does she look like? She has long, curly, black hair. Long, curly, black hair. What does she look like? She has long, straight, brown hair. And she's medium height. We are describing the hair and height. So, we are using two different verbs. For he, she, we are going to use has. Remember, has. Has is going to be used to describe hair and eye. And we are going to use is to describe height. Okay? Well, 
And also, we are going to use the verb to be to describe the weight of that person. For example, if she is thin, remember, she is overweight, and etc., etc. So, we can now describe that person by using these adjectives to describe hair and to describe height. Well, guys, this is everything for today. If you have any question, please keep in touch with me. Remember that uh, the next time we see us in the classroom, you have to be able to describe your classmates, your family, your friends, and also you're going to be able to describe yourself. Thank you very much for watching this video and so long.